The following program was produced by the United States Courts. Hello, I'm Bridget Lyles with the United States Courts. One of the little known functions of the federal courts is to conduct naturalization ceremonies. The ceremony is the final step to becoming an official U.S. citizen. In December, officials at the Western Reserve Historical Society in Cleveland invited the district court to hold a naturalization ceremony at the Historical Society Museum. These exhibits contain over 146 years of history from northeastern Ohio, a history that 119 new American citizens are now a part of. Your presence here today serves as a reminder about the central mission of this institution. You remind all of us that the historical core of our community's history is its diversity. And on a very personal level, each of you prompts us to remember that each of us working here as someone who came from somewhere else in our past. Chief Judge Solomon Oliver presided over the ceremony. He explained why the U.S. has become a beacon of hope for so many around the world. Why is it that people from other parts of the globe wish to come to America? It's because of that promise. The promise that in America people mean something. The promise that in America people have rights that no government can trample on. The promise that there will be opportunity for all. The Cleveland ceremony was the first at the Western Reserve Historical Society and included individuals from 15 countries. Reporting with the U.S. Courts, I'm Bridget Lyles in Washington.